Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. I recently had these come through from Sir Toys. They are Thundercats Lego figures. Uh, they're not officially Lego of course but they are definitely very very resemblant of Thundercats. So uh, we've got six in total so let's start opening these up. Uh, let's start with Lion-O. Right. As with most of these Chinese uh, minifigures, you have to literally build them. You have to pop their arms in on both sides and you have to put the hands in. You normally get spare hands. They don't always match. <laughs> Sometimes get some random colours. I don't imagine the QC is exactly up to par with uh, the rest of the world, but hey, I don't care. They've given me a Thundercat. And we get a base. Uh, let's just take a look at Lion-O first. It's a pretty good head sculpt on there. Nice Thundercat logo on the belt there. Holds together rather nicely. We do only have the one sculpt on there. Uh, I think the hair is kind of reused from some of their Dragon Ball figures. But Everything moves nice and smoothly. Legs are done well. Sword of Omens isn't overly well done. It's just a standard sword. Uh, we do have a kind of circle there on the hilt, but that's it. So Lionel's definitely not terrible. He looks okay. Next up, we have Panthro. It does not want to come out. Yeah. Right, Panthro uh, seems to be a fraction uh, more purple than I remember. I remember him being kind of a bluey colour, like the head, but um, I guess beggars can't be choosers. Just pop these in, put his hands in. I think so. And look at these. This this is nice. I like I like this. This is almost his weapon. That's, that's not too bad. I would like maybe a red and a blue one. But uh, that, that that's not horrendous. I mean that's a pretty decent sculpt there. I, I do like that face. And again the body is okay. It's a really nice print uh, no real bleeding on there that's come across rather nicely it's just his color color is off it should be the color of his head in my opinion but still we have a good panthro figure and see there they only got one spare hand. <laughs> there's just no rhyme and reason to it really uh, let's do chitara I think they are making a second wave of these. They may already have done it, uh, but I just added these to my want list on Sertoys, and they went out and sourced them locally. They were cheap, cheap. I mean, like a few dollars. Okay. Let's see if we can get her hair on. Hair doesn't really want to. There we go, that's on. And put the stick in her hand again that's a really good sculpt nicer uh, printing there on the bosom a little bit of bleeding on that hair 
Uh, she's actually my favourite so far. I really like how she's come out. Uh, let's do Tigra just so we've got the original foursome done. Oh, I really like what I'm seeing here. This does look does look really good. Pleasantly surprised how well everything fits together. Some of these bootleg Lego figures, uh, they just really don't hold together. They don't connect properly with everything, but these are extremely solid and definitely hit the mark. There's his whip. There we go, that is Tigra. Love that, uh, especially love the whip. That's really nicely done. And look at the hair. These are exceptional. Little feet there. Oh, Genuinely over the moon. Right, next up one of my favorite toys i had as a kid this is ben gali although he seems to have the wrong weapon included but uh, let's get everything on him first Right, this is Bengali. Again, really, really good sculpt. Love the face on Ben. Good printing there on the chest. Very, very similar to Tigra, as was the original toy. It was basically a repaint and slight re-sculpt. Uh, but yes, he doesn't come with his hammer. I thought they would have had a hammer with him, uh, but instead we get something that looks like it's been reused from the turtles. But hey, it's a weapon nonetheless. Maybe he just hasn't found the hammer yet. He hasn't <laughs> acquired it. And last, but definitely no means least, we have Mumra. This is him in his bandages. It's not the ever living version I don't have that yet like I said I'm sure there's a second wave with people like Jackalman and that in there we go Let's... I'm feeling super inspired now to go out and watch Thundercats Said. And then the top of the shroud, and then we can have a stick, a sword, or a pole, or something like that. But look. At that that is a remarkable face sculpt they have nailed it I'm assuming that somebody done one of these uh, on Lego ideas and they've bootlegged them I can't imagine this is completely original it just seems like the sort of thing that would have taken place imagine some reused parts from Star Wars etc but sculpt wise these are oh, absolutely exceptional. Unfortunately, I don't imagine the uh, original creator is going to be credited with these at all. But that being said, if you are after some Lego Thundercats, 
<laughs> then these are highly recommended. They feel very professionally done, nigh on perfect as far as Lego figures go. The sculpts are incredible. I love the printing on each figure. There's no bleeding, it's very crisp, and they are definitely noticeable as the characters that they're intended to be. Uh, Panthro could do with a little bit of a color change. Uh, Bengali could do with a different weapon, but that being said, all in all, they are exceptional. I've included a link in the description below if you would like a set of these, and I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> these are freaking awesome. Until next time, from myself and the Thundercats Lego team, ah, goodbye.